It really is a disgrace. In a video message posted on Twitter Tuesday night, U.S. President Donald Trump threatened to not sign the $900 billion coronavirus relief bill unless Congress amends it. And once again, he claimed falsely that he might stay in office. I'm asking Congress to amend this bill and increase the ridiculously low $600 to $2,000 or $4,000 for a couple. I'm also asking Congress to immediately get rid of the wasteful and unnecessary items from this legislation and to send me a suitable bill or else the next administration will have to deliver a COVID relief package and maybe that administration will be me. The bipartisan economic stimulus package passed by Congress Monday night was meant to throw a lifeline to Americans after months of inaction by the government as the coronavirus outbreak continues to spread nationwide. Trump said the bill was much different than anticipated and listed items at length that he believed were wasteful spending, like foreign aid and reef management. It's called the COVID relief bill, but it has almost nothing to do with COVID. Many critics of the bill have argued that the new round of aid doesn't go far enough and are already calling for President-elect Joe Biden to do more once he takes office on January 20th. At a press conference earlier on Tuesday, Biden said he plans to offer more assistance to the millions of Americans out of work during the pandemic. We need more funding to help firefighters and police, many of whom are being laid off as I speak, and the same with nurses risking their lives on the front lines, the same for millions of hurting families who are unable to put food on the table, pay rent, or the mortgage. The relief bill included $600 payments that most Americans would have received as early as next week.